reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. <laughs> Hopefully it works out. Yeah. Hopefully. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. <laughs> Bean. Good, it didn't break out. I mean, break out. I mean, need to swing by bug out. to get anything from the field office. No, I'm all set. I'll talk there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Mm. I wonder. Interesting starting time. Yeah, it is. It is. Hello. The diner's just up the water All right. <clears throat> shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. That's the second time something mentioned a waterfront. All right. Hi. Hi. I wonder if everyone will talk to me. Don't know, don't care. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Have you slept? Um, a little bit. <clears throat> but then I kind of stayed up after that. So now I'm here. <laughs> Now I'm here. I am here. Snacks on deck. I got water right here. Um, I have some snack over there, but when I need it, I'll get up and get it. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. Alex Casey. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. <clears throat> Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses. Oh, shit. What a... Sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The Booker's Those are crisp pants about. that literally just came out. Themselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Iron that Casey, shit. You compare notes to the sheriff. <clears throat> Bunny and sleep yeah. schedule don't make no sense no more. <laughs> yeah. We've looked through the case <laughs> files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims? Oh, dear diner. This is neat. The jukebox is out of order. Aw. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. I'm as big a fan of Coconut as a next person, but come on. Bam. Alright. That hit. <laughs> okay. Don't touch. Not touching. The Big Buck Cheeseburger for $8.99? That's how much a Big Mac is. Well. Try out our famous pie. Well, what kind of pie is it? Can I go to the back? Okay. Okay, that's a little better. There we go. What the hell is <laughs> what is this? Okay. Oh my gosh, that font. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Microsoft Word fucking Rest easy, buddy. <clears throat> this is gonna be a running theme in this, huh? Yes, sir. Alright. It's gonna be a running theme. Got a map, baby. Cool. Oh. No, I don't. 
witness at the diner. Oh, there's no witness here, but can't open this with my bare hands. Mm, true, but I can shoot it. It's okay though. Got the men's bathroom. Employees only, right? Wait, women and men's bathroom. I see. Damn, there's only one stall. Oh no, it's two. Nope, one stall. Okay. Q, Q, Q. Okay, where's the witness, baby? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw in pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about. Yeah, just a few okay. questions, you know. What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here for Can I sit down or like... Search on a famous no? Okay. Oh, wait, what was missing here? I was down at the lake getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. Mm -hmm. and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around. This diner looks so nice. We ran into these little, cold, little deer masks. quaint diner. Am I okay? I'm okay. Like some kind of satanic cult. Are you okay? Is everyone okay? <laughs> what makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Call up the tree. A call up the tree. Well, there's the pilot up there. The Damn it. Oh. Mm. And then we found a Tell me what you found. Terrifying. Something's up here. What'd you find? What did you find? Are you actually okay? Um, I'm okay. Okay enough, I guess. Uh, let's see. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, and finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. A necklace. That's what they were hiding. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The cult was built to hide what's there. They say the riders fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My mm. book has questions. Pass the bolt cutter. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. Okay. Alrighty then. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Hand it over. Told you not to keep that from me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Heart reading and dreaming of Nick. <clears throat> I got to live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Oh, my baby girl. Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, mm -hmm. silly. Rose. You know me. No, I don't. I don't think I do. Who the hell you at? Who the hell you? Exactly. She drowned your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know how 
have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Uh-oh. Happens on TV all day. <clears throat> no. You're mistaking me for someone else. If you say so. I don't know if this one's sweet, though. I don't know about that one. Let's go back, shall we? Riding goes body. Go to the sheriff station. Okay. Now we're done here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cleared. Go we do on, my an organized group that kills. Clouded, huh? Not a lone serial killer. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Kind of already knew that, but alrighty. Yes, cult of the tree. Yes. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Indeed. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Gotcha. <clears throat> okay, see. Go, go. Cult symbols, yeah. Cult symbols. God, you're doing well, Carter. Mm. Alright, what else we got? Cult stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Mm. Right falls area. <clears throat> Cauldron Lake. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Exciting. All right. Okay, I think we're done here for now. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen. I do. And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. This is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Carter. You didn't touch your pie. So. So. I have you. You're all good, Ed. Just gonna ease up now. Hey. You think this thing I have a problem? Go to school? So, Rose. Help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. I'm sure you do. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Oh, I'm because sure. Everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. What else we gotta do? Go to the sheriff station. All right, we're done here. We're done here, boy. <laughs> All right, let's go to the sheriff station, shall we? All set. We shall. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. I am ready. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The Depends on how good the game is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Have it's, you heard it's of this good. cult of the tree, sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That's what it says. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! D&D, you say? Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, 
Real important guest. Gear fest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What's she do now? She kept saying that my I saw the same there. truck over there. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But that's not to take it personally. Hey, go Corpus. to the Mars. Corpus down is ready there. to go. Okay. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. You always said you want to play a bakery Honestly, simulator. <laughs> Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. So we share a morgue with the Stop pushing me. Store. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week, but you can handle it. Oh, that's ass. I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Why is it dark as fuck down here? Yeah. There's some more go right. Something about the morgues. <clears throat> they always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. <laughs> Yeah, what's this? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. All right, boys. Let's start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other? Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. Mm -hmm. It doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. There's writing on here. Writing on the heart. Okay. How'd they manage that? This looks like text. That looks like text. Nightingale didn't mm -hmm. strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Mm. Alrighty, let's see. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Anything to learn from the body, let's see. Oh, we got that. We got this. Long-term water exposure. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Mm-hmm. Doesn't add up. Never does. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Possibly. Possibly. Why are you not wearing gloves? Girl, what is going on? Where the gloves at? Oop. You need gloves, girl. You need girl. It's the same type of page we found at Colden Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was, killing. Mm. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Mm. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. Manuscripts. Okay. 
shit. Something's happening. Wait, I've seen that guy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh yeah, there was another lady. Okay. Right. Didn't see it. <clears throat> Could not see into bright light. How did that Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. I'm in the light now. Do I not have my flashlight? Fuck, I don't have my flashlight. He can't see me in the light. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Yeah, no shit, gotta get it back. Safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. It will become temporary unavailable. Okay. Go. I keep thinking that's. Where am I going? I literally don't know where. Okay. Yeah, I see him. He's right there. The exit's that way. Is it open? Oh, son of a bitch. You know, my gun out of the room. I need to find it. I'm fine. Okay. Just checking. Must be lagging. Probably. When it went dark, but he went too? That's whack. Damn, you're missing parts, man. That sucks. I'm just gonna stay for a bit. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It mm -hmm. helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. And yeah, we do. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but... 
We both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Mm -hmm. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start relearning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. Where are the pages? Oh, yeah. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how to stop the monster. Ooh, okay. The room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga, didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch, get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing <laughs> a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Do you have any other clues? Any clues? Anything else? How am I missing anything else? Nope. The heart is gone too. Oh, the heart yep. The heart away? is gone. Yep. It is gone. Damn, she got missed the flicker. Let us go. Well, he took the heart. So, there's that. Got anything for me? Of course you don't. Uh, Can't be opened on this side. Then what kind of flipping room is this? It's fine, trust? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I had to pick it up. I had to. There's no, no ifs, ands, or buts. You gotta do it. I'm doing alright, just chilling, trying to figure out what to play. How's this game? I plan on getting it. The first one was incredible. Good so far. Good so far. This is literally just the beginning. Basically. Um, alright, we move on. Try the mind space. Hmm. A dead man turned into a monster. You're right, I gotta remember that. Light as a way to also, I hate that it's lagging my shit, but it's okay. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, okay, moving on. <laughs> Malice. Let's see. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Only, which one is it? Yeah. No, that's stop. Not right. No, not that's the wrong shit. All right. There we go. That's what I wanted. What kind of call? That's what you're talking about. Mm, okay. Uh, I asked if you got past this part, and then uh, and I was like, yeah. 
You did, because you knew about the encounter and stuff. Mm. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Oh, it's up to the fire. Ah, I see. So from here on out, it's over. We don't know. You don't know. I don't know. He, she, we don't know. Gun shops, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. No and you didn't come rushing in? Monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. But we'll do what we can, man. You're just you're you're not you're not gonna mention this. You're not gonna mention this. All right, make sure you take care of those bodies, gay. Okay? All right, even though you did mention them, and they are. Uh... That's crazy, right, Thorn? Yep. Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Come they were literally just know. looking at the body. What do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like poof? He's gone like. Oh, look, it's open. Look, items. I'm definitely gonna need that shit. I need bolt cutters. Yeah, I don't got that. So, unless there's something in this room, nope. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. I guess we're done here. We move on. We moving on, moving on. They're a fine pair. What snacks you got out of here? Alright. Hello. All dear. I have a tourist. And it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tour guide, I'll go. There's me. <laughs> Just taking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just browsing and taking stuff that I can take, you know? That's it. <clears throat> Alrighty. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, hello. Do you have anything in here? Thank you. Hey, how you doing? My He's talking to me. Can tell here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment now. Someone will be right with you. I can't force it open. How many times do you have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wit's end with you. Okay. Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What yeah, it's all about the paperwork, my guy. F the paperwork. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Mm hmm Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Paperwork, you're saying? Yep. I respect everyone's taste in games. If you like it, you like it. But I ain't gonna shove a game that you may not be into. For me, I love RPGs, but if I'm being for real, personally, my game would be my pick with it. I agree. But it's our best lead. Yeah. Well, there you are. <clears throat> be careful when you cross that, okay? Even though there's pretty much no cars and on the road. No, 
Sheriff Seto won't roll over on the issue. Are you for LMA too? Yeah. A lot of people were saying that Baldur's Gate 3 was, de was definitely going to win. 20. That is slow. Yeah. Alright. Moving on. Let us go. Let us go. The car can be used to travel between locations. Great. Or maybe three. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And until the next one, this is Bahasa Bunny signing off. Have a good one.